Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look I'm wearing right now. It's using the Smashbox Masterclass Palette 2 and along with a MAC Press Pigment in Damson, which is kind of the showcase of the eye look. So if you like this look and you're interested in learning how to get it, then just keep watching. The rest of this video is going to be a voiceover tutorial, so I will see you all in my next video and I hope you enjoy this look. Bye guys. Okay guys, I'm starting off with Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC and I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow base because Jaclyn Hill uses it and basically anything I use, anything she uses, I will. So, just putting that all over my eyes and drinking some coffee because this was like 7 in the morning. And then we're going to go into the, my beloved Smashbox Masterclass 2 palette and on this fluffy brush I'm going to take that bronzer from the palette actually and I'm just going to put this all in my crease, buffing it back and forth as a transition color. I've been really loving using bronzers as opposed to shadows for my transition color. It just looks way more natural to me and it's actually like kind of easier to blend. And then I'm going to go in with this brown shade on the bottom with a slightly more defined crease brush, like fluffy brush. It's still pretty big though and I'm just going to go more directly into the crease to kind of create some more depth in there. And then I'm going to go into this shade, I think it's called Mocha, I will have all the colors listed down below, and a smaller fluffy brush, and I'm going to take that on the very outer corner of the eye. This is just going to create some depth on that outer corner and deepen it up a little bit and give more dimension to the eye. And then I'm just going to take that fluffier brush and blend all of the edges together. Now we're going into Dams and Press Pigment from MAC, and this... Uh, it's like the little adhesive that comes with those Stila Magnificent Eye metal things. And I just really like this as a adhesive for any pressed pigment. And I'm just taking that in E55 shading brush and working that all over the lid. And in this light, it looks kind of purple. And then you move and it's blue. And then it, wait, not blue, it's brown. And then it's green. And it's just a gorgeous pigment. And then I'm taking that fluffy brush and blending it back and forth. And now I'm taking that um, same mocha, I think, color with a more tapered blending brush and just creating more depth in the eye and then blending it all so that it blends seamlessly and stuff. Now I'm just going to do some quick winged liner with my Napoleon Perdi uh, China something gel liner and an angled liner brush just to clean up the eye. Now I'm taking my Stay Flawless Benefit 15 Hour Primer and just slapping that all on my face because I was going to work this day so I wanted my makeup to last really long because I work a full eight hour day. Then I just blended that in my fingers and now I'm taking my Chanel Perfection Lumiere foundation with a beauty blender and pressing that all into my face because I was testing out this foundation that week because I was doing like a review for it which will probably be up soon, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'm just pressing that into my skin. Now going back with my beloved Pro Longwear Concealer and concealing under my eyes and down kind of the center of my face and all of the places you usually conceal, like around the nose and stuff. And then I went in and blended that all out with my Beauty Blender, my favorite thing in the entire world. Honestly, blending my concealer out is like my favorite part of doing my makeup. <laughs> it's so much fun. Now I'm taking Groundwork Paint Pot and a stippling brush from Sigma. And I actually use this paint pot as a like contouring product for my skin. It's just really gorgeous and natural and I just really like the way it looks. So I'm taking that in the hollows of my cheeks and around my forehead. You need very little product for this. You just like stipple it into that product very lightly. And now to set it, I'm going to take that bronzer we used in our crease and just set that cream product with this kind of, I don't know, flattish brush. I don't really know how to describe this brush, but you guys have seen it before. So I'm using this brush to set all of that paint pot. Now I'm taking the Becca translucent blotting powder to set my concealer under my eyes with this Real Techniques blush brush. I just like this brush for everything but blush. <laughs> now I'm taking my Anastasia dip Anastasia dip brow and filling in my brows and basically what I do for this is I take an angled liner brush and I trace along the bottom of the brow and then along the top of the brow and I like kind of feather it into the center of the brow to fill in any spaces but then I take my gimme brow from Benefit and use this as kind of a brow filler and as a brow gel. I really really love this combo and I've been loving the way my brows look with it lately. So I just do that.
and now I'm taking some concealer. This is the Time Bomb concealer from The Bomb, and I just carve out my brows with it because I like my brows to be super duper sharp, especially when I'm doing like a dark makeup look because, I don't know, I just think it looks really professional and nice. Now I'm taking this color. I don't know the names of these colors, but they'll, I'll list them down below. And I'm just highlighting my brow and my inner corner with it with just an E55 shading brush. And then I'm taking this Vincent Longo uh, dual ended pencil and I'm taking the brown black side you can use any brown black liner and I'm just t uh, lining my waterline and then I'm taking this that mocha color on a flat definer brush and I'm pressing it into the lashes on the bottom lash line and then we're going to take that bronzer color on a pencil brush again and we're just going to kind of smoke out that brown color we put down and it looks really really pretty and now I'm taking Jordana Best Lash Extreme and L'Oreal Telescopic Mascaras. The Jordana is pretty clumpy, so I like to take the telescopic, the brush, and kind of, I don't know, like make it not clumpy. <laughs> and then I'm taking this rosy toned blush on an angled, large angled contour brush from Sigma. I'm just putting on my blush. And then I'm taking this, I think it's called Lens Highlighter from this palette. Oh my god, the highlighters in this palette are gorgeous. And I'm taking that on this like tapered highlighting brush from Sigma. And taking that on the tops of my cheekbones and down the center of my face and oh man these highlighters are awesome and i'm so glad that this palette came with highlighters it's like the best thing ever now for lips i'm taking the nyx dolly i think it's called dolly pink lip liner and i'm lining my lips with that and then i'm going to mix two wet n wild mega last lipsticks together the first one is dollhouse pink which is like a crazy bright like barbie barbie pink color and then I take Think Pink and kind of tone it down and make it not as crazy pink. <laughs> Even though it does still, it's still a bright pink, but it's not as intense. And then I'm going to top all of that off with Eclair, not Eclair, is it Eclair? I think it's Eclair um, Butter Gloss from NYX. And that is actually it for this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I love you all. Thank you all for watching. And thank you for all of your support and everything. I just said all so many times. But I will let you go now. Here you can watch a clip of my morning. And see how antisocial I am. <laughs> Don't work today? Yeah. Are you doing a video first? Yeah. I like your hair like that. Do you oh, bring God. it down or you wear it like that all day? Hold on. Oh, listen, I got a magazine at work that I have to bring to you. It's um, ideas on um, organizing, right? Mm -hmm. And they have a magnetic board and they put a beautiful frame around it. And then you put with a glue stick little magnets on the back of your makeup and you leave it there. I've I was thinking, huh? I've seen it. I'm thinking it's good when you do your videos to showcase everything that you're using. Yeah. Instead of on that little table and holding it. Up. Bye. Bye. Love you. They screwed up my campaign signs. Now I'm gonna deal with this. Okay, but what about the sinkhole? Don't worry, Leslie will deal with this and the sinkhole. Right, Leslie?